monster without me looking. I had, I had Skyrim on, and all of a sudden oh. I turned my head. The guy was like right in I've, my face. I've been playing the fuck out of that. And we're live. Uh, and... Hey guys, this is Rise of the Lost Sword, and this week we're going to be reviewing and kind of rambling about the live-action Princess Jellyfish movie. We'll probably talk about the anime a little bit, but we're going to focus on the movie. This is Asamu. This is Andy. No, son. And Frozen Traveler. Now, prior to me telling you guys to watch this, who has, like, seen the anime, maybe read the manga, or at least heard of it before? Before you mentioned, like, to watch it, I had never even heard of it before, so... Neither have I. I... Funimation told me about it through their through the YouTube subscription. And I gotta say, just by looking at those clips, of course, they make it look interesting. So I did put a, a few episodes of it, and I thought, yeah, it's pretty good. And it kind of dropped out around episode 12, I believe. It's only 13 episodes! <laughs> Yeah, I got busy with other stuff. Like I, I, that last episode. <laughs> no, dude, I understand dropping an anime, but dropping it right before you end is like being in the middle of sex and be like, I gotta come. Okay, never mind, I'm going home. You know what? I, I gotta be at work in like five hours, you know. <laughs> hey. But uh, you did a good job. Here's a lollipop and you'll walk away. Ooh. You tried your best. Um, Although, I, I, there are a couple shows, though, that I have stopped, like, and not just the anime, where, like, someone's like, you do realize there was exactly two more episodes left, or one more episode, so I was like, yeah, but it's not like I didn't dislike it, I just started watching other stuff and forgot to watch the last episode. Like, <laughs> there's, there's a, like, like, okay, not to get, I'm, I, I'm, I'm only doing this for a second to get off the top of it, like, Archer. I love Archer. I have not watched the last two episodes of Archer from this season. Not because I dislike Archer or anything. I just haven't remembered to watch it. It's still on my DVR. Ooh, those last two episodes. Oh, yeah. See, and that's what everyone Damn. tells me, but I haven't watched it. Get your shit together and finish that. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, jeez, people. Does this mean I, I can do all the Archer memes? Because I love Archer memes. Oh, I love Archer. I, I, mm -hmm. I've, I've watched... I've watched anything that any of it that's been on Netflix. I've watched more times. Like I said, I'm not trying to get off topic. It was just when he realized he said he hadn't listened and watched like the last episode. That's what it made me think of. I said I was sorry. <laughs> hey, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm used to doing stuff like that. I mean, that's uh -huh. just me. <laughs> I can't stand it. If I'm like five episodes till the end, I don't care if I hate it. I'm finishing it. If I'm like ten or so episodes and I'm not feeling like fuck it, I don't care about these people. But if I'm that invested and it's that close to the end, like, I want to see where this goes. Yeah. Yeah, I just... Um, having watched a couple of... Actually, I only... No, actually, I think about that. I only finished one episode of the anime. I do like the anime better than I really like the movie, having seen some of the anime now. I personally prefer the movie. The anime, my bad. It's just <laughs> the movie was easier to consume for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Just and I think okay. the characters right and how they portray them, they, it's just they condense 13 episodes to like mm, 110 or something. Two hours. Two hours, okay. It's decently like 120-ish minutes, but they, they condense too much. And then some scenes are pulled a little too long. Yeah. Like there, there's a huge pacing problem, but the funny scenes are still funny as shit. Yeah, I could I could follow that. Yeah, because that was the that was the big thing I saw when I watched the anime. I was like, wow, that is a much much better um, uh, the energy because like, it, it, and that maybe it's just because the characters are so I don't want to no that, that's a good point. they're so cartoony like they're so over the top that when I I was like if I hadn't watched the movie first I'd been like. There's no way you can make that into a live action because they're 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 cartoon characters. I mean, like not even like to like be smirching like cartoons. They they're just so not like real people. Yeah, I like, like how how all these girls freeze up and turn to stone whenever a man they're trying to talk to, whenever a man shows up. Well, they turn to stone for a lot of reasons. That's only one of them, but one of the easier ones. Well, yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of just sometimes, like, 
like the body motion sometimes they would move and like just like to me like the one i was thinking of was and i'm gonna be really bad with the names because i'm really bad at remembering them the me one too. who is the uh in the green jumpsuit the oh, uh assassinize the legend yes, assassinize. The, the um fuck you know the the, the... The, yeah, okay. Pick who probably she, plays Dynasty Warriors too much. Okay. She flails like all over the place in the anime. Like like her her body motion is like nonstop. In the movie, she walked around with Mr. Burns' hands the entire time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for her to say, excellent. And they changed her character a little bit near the end and middle portions. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, she was fine here. And and but the one thing that I I did think was better done in the movie than in the anime is um uh the transformation they make of the main character. Oh, uh, Kurunosuke or the girl? No, 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 no. The girl, the main girl character. Su Never Sukimi. remember her name. Sukimi. Sukimi. Yes. Okay. When they do the uh, okay in the in the anime like. She's still okay. I don't want. I, I, this is gonna sound really, really sexist. Okay, uh, in the anime, she still ends up looking kind of cute, even when she's like in her glasses with the fake tails and everything like that. In the movie, no, they oh, really yes. made her look. It, it was not just like the Hollywood ugly. They actually did a good job of really making her look different. See, so you're not being a shogunist pig. You're just. Understand the fact that's just a fucking cute art style. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe it is just the art style that does it in the original. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that, um, as, my, as my brother was putting it to me, he goes, he goes it's kind of hard to do the inner beauty story when they kind of look like a beauty the entire time. Yeah. Right. It's got to be something about... Okay. Uh, I, I got nothing here. I thought I had something. Ah, I know it sucks. That's all right. Um, I my I think my fate. The reason I like the movie a lot is mainly because the actor they got for Kuronosuke being from Common Rider Double and how much he nailed Kuronosuke. Huh. Like, I just think that dude likes to wear dresses. At this point. Oh, the actor. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, the character made that pretty clear. Because, well, he's um, Philip in Kamen Rider Double, and within that show's continuity, he wears the women's line of the wind scale forms, and he's a he's a pretty boy. He looks like a girl. Yeah. And he, he straight up dresses like a girl in this. And I'm like, are we being typecast? Seems like it. That, and he just... He really can bring out that energy that Kuronosuke has when they're doing things. That brash loudness of, I like fashion, and this is what I'm doing. I, I like the, the almost the um, bend over backwards way of ignoring the fact that, like, when, he, when they were trying to uh, explain away... Um, the when when uh, when, they, when when his father walked in, when they oh, were working on yeah. their dresses, and they were like trying to, and, they, and then they went to the restaurant. And they were explaining why. No, 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 it actually is a girl. You don't need to think it's a guy. That was one of the that funniest scenes. They're ever. dumb as piss. <laughs> like I mean, that shit can only happen in a movie or in an anime. Yeah, no one's it's... stupid. Because I think you can clearly see his Adam's apple in the thing. It was, yes. Well, he's. Dressed as a girl. It's, Clearly it's the see that. Uh, it's the Clark Kent Superman thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put on a wig, you a dress, and I'm. I. Hey, and a lot of makeup. And, and although, a lot of makeup. although they did find out that that Clark Kent Superman thing actually may work because they had um. Henry Cavill. Uh, Henry Cavill going around. Yeah. <laughs> and no one recognized him as Superman. Yeah. Well, it's because it kind of sucks. No, but it's still a visual. It's not even so much. It, actually, it actually, he doesn't suck. The writing for him sucks. I'm, I, again, I, I don't I'll, like... I'll say that because he's... Ugh. 
I go with I, I, I don't I don't know if he does. That's the thing because it's been so bad and he hasn't ever gotten to be Superman. I don't know if he sucks or not. He's no Christopher Reeve Superman. I think he could be a very good Superman if Zack Snyder wasn't penning everything. Because the guy knows his shit. Like he talks like when uh he talks about comic books and stuff like that, he knows the character, he knows the history, and he knows the comics. So I don't doubt his ability to do it. Hmm. Sorry, I was watching. I was watching Flash before we did the podcast, so I got DC Comics on my mind. That's oh, perfect. Justice fine. I need to catch up <laughs> on the Flash. Yeah. Um, the Crossdresser's brother. Shoe. Shoe. I believe. Shoe. Yeah. That's all I remember. I, I I tend to remember the nicknames before I'll remember the actual characters' names. Because uh, the driver guy calls him Shoo Shoo, and the driver guy's fun. By the way, I uh, love that driver. He was my yeah. favorite character in the whole thing. Yeah, I, he was. I, I like this introduction. He's so much better. It's like, hey, could you tell me if my brother's diversion or not? Sorry, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be relieving you of that information. I'll get you a Mercedes Benz. Okay, no, he's totally a virgin. <laughs> There's more car jokes with him later in the anime. At one yeah. point, they, uh, they're they asking him, because the brother's being followed, who is the guy following him? And he draws him a shitty little stick figure. Okay, what kind of car were they driving? And he draws a perfectly detailed car, tells them the make, the model, what engine, and everything from the sound of it. Damn. Yeah, I believe that. Was oh, it yeah. Hanamori, his name is, or something like that? Uh, That's I a motorhead. So. Yeah. Uh, the, um, and there, I, I am so mad at the movie for skipping one of the funniest goddamn scenes in the anime. When, um, Chu wakes up next to Slut Bitch. Oh, yeah, her. In the oh, anime. God. Instead of just it cutting away to when he left, he's in such disbelief and he picks up his <laughs> pants, knocks her over, and then runs out of the hotel room full sprint in his undies with his clothes in his hands. <laughs> and it look up, I will find the Princess Jellyfish gif and send it to you guys because it's so fucking funny. She was so ridiculously over the top, like unbelievably, like, and I'm saying unbelievably in like that I didn't believe it. Like, evil. <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, there's nobody in this earth that would actually be doing all this stuff just to... Uh, no, see, I believe someone would do that. It's just the way that she went about, like, just the way she talked and, like, her reactions to things. I was like, um, okay, you could take it down oh. a notch. Oh, I totally believe someone would do that, though. Oh. That, that, her actions completely... Like, she's taking, like when she's taking that selfie, she had to take two of them. One was like, ah, oh, that's showing way too many wrinkles. Let's try another one. That's, that that was part, that's the part I believe. word for word what happens in the anime. Yeah. Oh, that part was believable to me. It was like like the way she was like talking to them. It was just like it was like you're talking like a um like a Sentai villain almost sometimes. I'm like, I don't believe that that's really what we needed here. Here it is. Let's start a feed in my office. So it's, it's so I, I, hey, I would I would actually believe it if she actually did in a previous role played as the Sentai villain. No, nah, I looked it up. She hadn't done anything else. Really? I'm dropping it in the Nothing anime chat. Look at it. This one of my favorite comedy scenes in anime. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Might we... want to have that play at the time. He, he thinks he popped his cherry with a random hoe bag. Which, in the movie, they never really use that again. It, it's kind of a dropped plot thread from the end. Yeah, animal. that's what I thought. It was a dropped thread because I'm like, all right, we did this, but, like, he didn't really bring it up. And then, like, he, she drugged him, and I was like, okay. Yeah, as soon as I saw the, saw the pills going to the drink, I'm like, oh, no. Who's who's going to be saying what did I do last night? I, was like, I thought 
I thought she was going to drug herself and then, like, make the blackmail that he had drugged her. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought, but yeah. then that's going into a little bit of a stereotype, I think. Mm-hmm. But no, it, 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 it goes weird on you. It, it goes, in the comp- goes in the, I guess, opposite <laughs> direction of what I thought it would be. Like, again, if you want to see this done better, watch the anime or read the manga. I need to read the manga because the anime stops at 13 episodes. There's a lot left in the manga. I'm telling you, the mm-hmm. ending of the movie is not in the anime. They, they needed to wrap I, it up. I didn't think so. Yeah. I thought that might be the case. Yeah, because... Yeah, because uh, uh, I guess I, I whenever we watch these things, I usually talk more with my brother too, because he's usually here when I'm watching. And he goes, he looks up the manga. and He goes, "Wow, they actually redeem the villain a little bit in the manga." And I'm like, "What?" Like, like in yeah. anime, they do too. Like he's he not completely forgivable, but it's okay. You're not a heartless harpy. You're just kind of a slut and a hoe bag and an evil bitch. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, he goes, "Yeah, they actually start." making her a more sympathetic character as opposed to just the evil, I don't know. It was an interesting way to play the evil corporation type thing in those in that mm-hmm. story. Yeah. That and they really switched the narr- the main narrative from like romance between uh Shu Kuronosuke and um fuck, I forgot her name already. Tsukimi. Tsukimi to more of them getting the house back. Getting the house back is a big part of the anime, mm-hmm. but then they also have the major plot thread with the kind of love triangle, and then they have a huge plot thread, which I am so mad they cut out of this movie about Kurunosuke and Shu and their family and Kurunosuke's mom. Oh, they, they, like, they actually did say a little bit of that in the movie. It's kind of skimmed I'm over. telling you, what they talked about in the movie is a drip compared to what happens in the anime. Well, uh, the anime, what? the second one I watched, they were talking about like how he, they won't tell her him where she is or something like that. Yep. If yeah. you want to know, I'll tell you a little bit, but it's a decent spoiler. Hmm. I, I already know it because I looked up some of the story of the oh. anime and the manga. So. Okay. Uh, like, it's been a while. It has... Be, um, cheated with... Um, um, his dad, like, to make Kuronosuke, and yeah. Shu saw them. That's why he's, like, still a virgin and not good with women. Oh. Yeah. They, like, paid money and moved Kuronosuke's mom off when he was, like, nine, and he isn't allowed to contact her. He just has her dresses. And, like, that's a big part of him and his brother growing to get to know each other and dealing with that really weird past. Uh, and I'm really mad that was skipped over. Because it's done very well in the anime. Like, the dub cast does a good job of emoting and dealing with these weird problems. Yeah, it was kind of cool that the uh, the anime is just available on Funimation's YouTube channel, too. So I was like, oh, I can just watch it at any point. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was um also uh, on Net- Netflix for quite a while. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I don't now watch much anime on Netflix. I know it's there, but I really haven't watched much there. I, I tend to watch most of my anime on the Funimation app on my PS3. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Or sites where I can find it that I have to pay for it. Or not. Yeah. Uh, I we don't, we don't condone piracy. Yeah, no. That's bad As a part stuff. of the Sentai and tokusatsu community where piracy is not a thing at all (laughs) well if it's not licensed in the u.s i don't consider it piracy yeah toei uh, has not ever said anything but they've never pursued piracy claims on anyone in america because they know when they're fans they'll eventually throw money their way Mm -hmm. and i think we can all raise our hand to doing that at least once yeah Mm. Ten More years in one, one year. Huh? Ten years of Common Rider into one year. <gasps> you don't want to know how much money I put into the fandom when I was first getting into it. <laughs> I have over, like, $2,000 worth of figures and henshin toys. <laughs> MSRP, not what I paid, but still. Put a lot into it. 
Okay. Hmm. So, some of the other characters that we got here that we kind of skipped over, like Afro and uh, Doll Lady. Uh, Trubon or Bon Bon? Bon Bon. Or... Um, yeah. The monster the that they don't get into a lot that lives with them. Yeah, they don't really stand out as much, but they did do some things that I kind of liked in the movie, like how Afro was able to actually scan the meat and see if it was high-grade meat. They That's, t again, taken from the anime. Like, that I, I don't felt like a very anime scene. That did. Yeah. Like, the, the whole first 30 minutes of the movie is about the first three or four episodes just pushed and crammed together. Huh. But um, they originally go out to the store to buy meat to get to make sukiyaki for everyone, and Kuronosuke comes, visits them again, and crashes dinner and eats it, and gets kicked out because they he is being a little obnoxious, mm -hmm. and they're them they can't handle a loud nice person. He is nice, but he's kind of obnoxious. Yep. So the next day he comes back with like high quality meat, and. They immediately accept him and have Sukiyaki Night Part 2. Yeah. yeah. In the movie, it's just kind of a really weird turnaround in that. It's like, yeah, we hate you for being obnoxious. I have meat. Okay, your friends. Yeah, they, like, they could have shortened some other scenes and stretched out the opening a little bit, but I don't know how they... I, I'm not a director, writer, I don't... Yeah. I, I can't say for certain that would have worked better, but I think it would have been. Well, you know, critiquing is just a form of hindsight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I know, um... No. Oh, go ahead. go ahead. No, you go ahead. Uh, the mangaka lady has some really funny scenes at the very beginning and very end, but I don't even think you find... She's got maybe two and a half minutes of quote unquote screen time. Maybe in the whole movie. There's, let's ask if he can come in here. Okay, let's get the logo for my clothing company. And I think that's about it. Oh, they talk about her once. Like she's a big BL mangaka. Yeah. Weren't they all all making a manga or something? Uh, they were all considered her assistants. Ah. Oh, the one, the one that you never saw that they kept putting the notes through the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember them. Yeah, I don't remember even them giving her name before. in the movie. No, they gave her name like once. I, I like just one time the... when they first mentioned it, but I, I, I don't. It, it was so lady. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I did. Even though she didn't really show up that much, I did kind of did find it kind of funny when um they're like, hey, what if we brought hypothetically how what if we brought a man in here? So as it comes back out, death. Wrote in sloppy kanji with a brush. <laughs> instantly and instantly too. That was like maybe a second. Oh, is that what she asked there? Okay, yeah. I couldn't. I I okay. I, I don't know if this was a the 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 streaming site was just not working right for me, but like I had a hard time with some of the subtitles for a while. Like they oh. weren't timed right or something along those lines. Really? Yeah. I know Kiss Asian has had issues like the last week on and off, but I didn't have timing issues. I was having uh, issues. It felt like it was it was a timing issue to me. Maybe I was, and also and like. The part of it was also I kept getting distracted when I was watching it too by Simpsons, because uh, yeah. of the Simpsons marathon. <laughs> it's hard to do anything while you're watching the subtitled show. That's why. I yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 the one thing I I wish. That's that's one time I I really wish that like Sentai and like uh, uh, Common uh, Rider were were dubbed because I that's the way I usually watch stuff. Is like I watch it while I'm playing a video game or something like that, but I can't do that with something that's subtitled because I'm like, no, I can't, and I can't even watch it like out of the corner of my eye because my I, my eyesight's so bad and my glasses cut off, I can't even do that. So well, me I'm and just a friend... saying there, 
is an English dub of Kamen Rider Kabuto. Uh, the Indonesia. Malaysian English dub. Malaysian? I thought it was Indonesia. I thought it was, it aired on Malaysian um, Nickelodeon. Yeah, I saw that in episode, I think it was like episode 11. I Yikes. saw like 38 episodes of it. Yikes. I have a fascination with bad dubs. Yeah, that's what me, me and my friends were going to think about doing sometime in the future. Just kind of dubbing over some common Rider Super Sentai stuff. People have done it. Yeah. But it's where would you you just have to upload it to like open load or something. Yeah. I know um there is a group that is doing a English dub of Common Rider Wizard. Ooh. It's like five or six episodes in, but they take a while to do it. Well, yeah, it's, it's processing and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Editing. That and just simply removing a vocal track is very hard to do with keeping oh, gosh, the background yes. sound and stuff intact. So, is there anything else that we can say about the movie? It's like, if you like really cute comedy, romantic comedies, and don't mind some weird shit, and you think jellyfish are adorable, watch it. Jellyfish are terrifying. They're I, cute as shit. I wanted to get no. one of those plushies that they were selling. Oh, my fiance wants one badly. Yeah. <laughs> like, Rob, you would hate her because she wants... Uh, that eight foot long octopus couch plushie. No, see, octopus and squid I think are amazing. Jellyfish freak me out. A anything with tentacles? No, really. not the tentacles. Ooh. No, it's literally jellyfish. Because I'm like, those things will sting the shit out of you. I don't yeah. want to deal with things that are going to sting the shit out of me. You don't or need to get one you. that makes all the stingings. Wait, wait. There's ones that don't sting jellyfish. That don't sting. Yeah. Yeah. And you can even get them as pets in little tanks and just pour and, food into it. And they have no eyes. And, and, like, no... They just look like a trash bag. You know there's a jellyfish that never dies. Yes, that I know. That's fucking that they, they just That they, they actually are researched to get to see if it actually would lead to some sort of... Uh, like, because they're functionally immortal. They just go back to an uh, earlier state. Yeah, I, I, I heard about that one once. I, I think that's just the craziest awesome shit. Yeah, that is pretty they're crazy. Fucking cool to me. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I don't know. They just kind of freak me out. I, I just, I, it's, it's probably just me being stupid. But it, it's, it's not stupid to be freaked out by something. It's just different. Like, it's different to think jellyfish are adorable as shit. It's, it's weird the fact that my fiance loves anything with tentacles. <laughs> <clears throat> Cause, 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 giant squid I find fascinating. I think they're awesome. But he loves like squid and octopus. Yes, yeah, cephalopods amazing. Even though technically they're not tentacles, they're arms. But she and, doesn't give a shit. Well, with squid, they're both. Some of them are arms. Some of them are tentacles. They squid have two. Male squid have two arms. Female squid have no. Male squid have two tentacles. Female squid have eight tentacles. I forget. There's a number differentiate. Yeah. Hmm. But like overall, give this movie a shot if you want to see something cute, or if you want to see Philip from Common Rider Double doing something new. Yeah, same here. It's it's good. There's it, there are some funny parts. Yes, you might be lost in some of the translation because well, foreign stuff. It's always weird to us it, Americans. It's weird to me that in a movie that does move so fast, that sometimes it just feels excruciatingly slow. That's that's the big pacing issue with it. Yeah. It bothers the shit out of me. Yeah. I mean, like, like, like I think I said to you, like, in the chat, I was like, I don't dislike it. I didn't necessarily really like it either. Like, if they would have done another season of the anime, they could have done another a sequel to the movie, and I think they could have paced it better. But the, the what we got, it, really funny, but they could have done better. Yeah, yeah, they definitely could have done better. The I mean, acting and, 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 and writing. It, no. Go ahead. 
Oh, no, no. It's like, it, it, again, it was nothing that there was anything really wrong with it. That was the, that was the big thing I was trying to get at. I, I think the acting and the writing outshine the terrible pacing. And the pacing's really the detriment of the movie. Like some of those later scenes with Tsukimi and Kuronosuke, they just drag as cute as they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, the whole the whole kind of I mean the whole kind of yeah, are you now you're talking about the end ending scenes? Uh with during their fashion show, yeah. Like the fashion show part of it went perfectly timed, but once they went to oh no, we need to dry this dress, that started dragging out and then the post fashion show where they're just sitting there that drug out the freaking date scene between her and Shu, just too much blank space, too much sitting there looking at each other, say something, do something, visual medium, do something visual, have a fucking jellyfish animated come up and explain what's going through her head or something. Sup somebody, sup somebody with the jellyfish. You know, you know, that might have been it too when you just mentioned that. There's, the anime has much more of her like inner voiceover. Yes, it does. <clears throat> and I oh think that God. might be a big thing of it, too. Her inner monologue in the anime, May, is a chatty Kathy. And in this, she just a little bit here and there, and it's a slow, whispery voice. Yeah. Not that that's yeah. bad, but she, her inner monologue doesn't pour out the passion the way her exterior can. It's a frustrating part of a Without those things, it would be much, much better. Or at least I hope it would be. Did we lose Andy? No, I'm here. Okay, you were just quiet for a little bit. I was just listening. Yeah, you were kind of quiet the entire time. Your thoughts on any of this? I don't... I don't dislike it. About like Rob, I don't dislike it, but it's not really my cup of tea. And I do feel like it had some pacing issues myself. And I think that was the biggest thing that kind of kicked me out of the movie. It's just sometimes things were going, you know, bang, 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 and then all of a sudden it was just just dragging on, and it was like a roller coaster. But I do like, and I'm terrible with the names, so I can't remember the 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 guy. Know. Yeah, I, I like how they actually did his character. You know, it wasn't just like typical guy dressing like a girl. You know, they didn't just go to the stereotype, or at least I didn't think they did. And I, I thought that was good, so I gave it. I gave it some points for that. Well, that's I mean, overall, thing about... it wasn't bad. I just I didn't really care for it that much. Well, that was the that's thing a... about his uh, cross-dressing. It's not really a lifestyle. It's just a hobby of his. Yeah, and I mean... It was off his dad. Double points. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that's politics. kind of a legitimate thing, you know. I don't want to be like my dad, so I'm doing this because I want to do it. Oh, okay. I know they cut out his uncle character, which is totally for him, dressing up like a girl, and even jokingly flirts with him. What? Yes, Lots as of creepy jokes. as that sounds in Lots retrospect. Of jokes. Uh. Well, well, saying that out loud made it sound a lot worse than it actually is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, Sometimes things like that happen. That's fucked up now. <laughs> His uh. uncle's not trying to fuck him. Yeah. So I ate one of those McRibs from McDonald's today, and uh, this is the first time I did that. It was pretty good. They have the McRib out? Yeah, they're doing a they're doing a two for five right now. There, it's not out at the one I was at this morning. No. Oh, it's at the one I always, walking distance of my place. I always ordered them without the sauce, so they would have to make new ones because their their barbecue sauce is just kind of weird to me. Oh, so... mine are usually on point. I I I don't know. My stuff's usually good. Well, no, it's just there. It's it's actually this is just a personal taste thing. Their barbecue sauce to me, it tastes very weird like it's like and i know it's me because like someone's like 
no, no, that's the best part of it. I'm like, oh, not for me. I mean, you enjoy it I, more for you. But like I would because for a while I managed at McDonald's. I was the overnight manager. So I would mm-hmm. make them myself and I just make them without the sauce. So, I mean, I knew I knew exactly what I was doing, but it was just my preference type thing. They did go a little hard on that sauce game. I'll say that. I mean, it, it wasn't bad, but they, they were kind of swimming in it. See, I was at McDonald's this afternoon. I got, like, a bundle box and some McChickens, and I made, like, a McGangbang and my Big Mac. And I, I would have wanted a, a what? McGangbang? Do you not know what a McGangbang is? You I just, wouldn't make them. If, if people order them that way, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would be. I would be as jerk. I'm like, no, you're not ordering like something like that from me. You order something real. They're like, that's what I want. I said, okay, then you tell me what you want because I'm not gonna let you order it by that stupid name. <laughs> no, I order it by like, hey, can I have two McChickens and two McDoubles? I put my McChicken inside my Big Mac though, and that was delicious. But if they had um, um, McRibs there, I would have made a McPig fucker. <laughs> wow! You take the McRib and you take two double cheeseburgers and put it all around the McRib, like the McRib bun and all in between both of the um, buns. You 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 know what I'm talking about, right? I just like I just like the Mc1035. Those are the ones I like. The Mc1035, the um, yeah. McChicken and waffles, McChicken and waffles. Okay, guys, I, I think we should be ending is. this before you it gets even a, worse. You get a McChicken with no mayo or uh, um, onions or lettuce on it, mm-hmm. and you get a McGriddle, and you just put the McGriddle patties on the McChicken. Oh, a McGriddle. Okay, I wouldn't. I don't think of McGriddles as waffles. They always seem more like French yeah, toast that, to me. That, yeah, I would go more French toast, but I see what you're saying. I know. That, it's the name, though, but they're delicious. I already and, have enough heart problems. I don't think I need to have that, too, in, <laughs> in addition to the McRib. Oh, the uh, the McGangbang gives me terrible gas. <laughs> That's not surprising. Then again, I had two of them. <laughs> because why not? Well, I got the bundle box, so I'm eating the bundle box. I got the I'll bundle from, box. And for me, I just went and got Chinese. I guess I went and got Mexican food tonight, so I was happy with that. So. Ooh, so you're <laughs> still going to be pooping. Everyone no, I'll be fine. No, you go to a real restaurant, not like a Taco Bell, and usually I don't have a problem. But if I go to a Taco Bell or a Mighty Taco or a uh, – what's the other one? Um, no, those are the only two around here. Never mind. Uh, either of those – oh, no, Chipotle. Those two – those three will make me sicker than hell. But if I go to – like I go to the actual Mexican restaurant, like that's authentic Mexican, I could eat the spiciest shit there, like, and I'll be fine. But like if I do that from a McDonald's, like it's uh, Taco well Taco Bell when they did the um, uh, they did three different level like grillers. Mm, yeah. Like I, I couldn't was... eat the hot one there because that made me sick as hell. There was I one of those that I fucking uh, love. Taco Bell, it, it it fucking kills me. I love Mexican food and tacos. A friend of mine, her dad used to have an authentic Mexican restaurant with delicious handmade like tacos and quesadillas and um. Uh, That's where what tonight tip was steak and salsa verde, verde. Oh, that made me love uh, Mexican food. Okay, sorry that I gotta end this conversation about <laughs> about the McDonald's stuff, but I guess we're done talking about the movie since we moved on yeah. to McDonald's stuff. So, this has been the Writers of Lost Ark uh, podcast on Jellyfish Princess, the movie. <laughs> I am frozen and traveler. And of fast food. And yeah, fast food. <laughs> because we're fat people and we know it. Yeah, so this is frozen traveler. Isamu. Yes, this is Andy. Yeah, no son. And I right, hope you all have a wonderful night. We. Would you like fries with that? <laughs> Remember, an onion is just an onion. God damn it! <laughs> Knew you were gonna fucking do that. That's going to be a that's going to be a running joke. Oh yeah, I re, you know it's one of those things where I remember it being the joke. I just don't remember the origin of it now. Do do I have to make an um, uh, like a t shirt of an onion peeling itself saying I'm just an onion? Please yes. do. I'll wear it Please. every fucking day. <laughs> and... All right, people. Goodbye.